So for a knitting garter stitch, you want to make sure that your bed spacing is set at five um, or four, depending on what your carriage, your transfer carriage likes, and that you've always got the two beds set in this transfer position. So the first thing you need to do is to cast on in regular stocking stitch. Um, it says in the book to use a, a stitch size larger than you would normally use for stockinette. I haven't found that I needed to do that, but you might. So play around with the stitch size if you're having problems. Go ahead and hang your weights and then just knit a few rows in stockinette to give you something to hang the edge claws on. I think I knit about 15 or 20 rows there. And then go ahead and hang your edge claws. And you can see I've got it all hanging on the back bed only. So the next thing that we need to do is to transfer all those stitches onto the front bed. Um, so for your transfer carriage, make sure both buttons are in the upward position, and that's not going to change for doing garter stitch. They're always in that position. So then on the front bed, bring, out, bring forward an equal number of needles to transfer the stitches onto. In my case, I had 40 stitches. And uh, then on the front bed, bring forward two extra, and on the back bed, two extra at the end, like you can see here. And then just make sure that your transfer carriage is locked on, and run it across firmly from left to right. And that will transfer all those stitches onto the front bed, and then uh, make sure you take it off before you try and lower the bed. You can see there's one here that didn't get transferred. So that's no good. We're going to transfer that one manually with the double-eyed bodkin. Um, you'll find, or I found anyway, that there's often one or two at the end that wouldn't transfer properly. So just do make sure that every row you double check to make sure they all got transferred properly. If not, you'll have to do it manually, um, but you don't want to miss that and then end up with problems. So then just make sure that you take those extra stitches you brought forward at the ends back out of work. And then you're going to go ahead. Now we're going to be knitting with both carriages, but set for circular knitting. So make sure that you select circular knitting because we're only going to be knitting on one bed at a time. Again, double check to make sure we took those extra stitches out of work. And this will knit across the front bed. Okay, so it's only knit on the front bed now, not on the back bed, which is what you want. And then we just repeat. We're gonna transfer the stitches back to the back bed now so we can knit a row on the back. So bring those extra couple stitches forward at the beginning and end, just like you did going the other way. And then run the carriage across. Mine was not fully locked on, so double check that. Make sure it's locked on. And then just run it across from right to left. And it will transfer all those stitches back onto the back bed. And then again, do a double check to make sure that if you need to manually transfer any that you do that. And that's basically the process. Um, you're just going to knit across one bed, transfer the stitches to the other, and knit across that bed. It's really quite simple once you get into a groove. I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the process a couple more times here on video. And then I'll, I did a few more rows off camera just to get a nice sample built up. Always double checking for the stitches that didn't transfer. And then once I knit across this last one here. Um, you can see what it looks like when you lower the beds. I'll come around and grab the camera. So 
So if I pull in here, you can see there is one spot in the middle where it tucked a stitch. That's my fault, off camera I dropped it and picked it up wrong, but otherwise, you've got garter stitch. That's really all there is to it.